Hello my YouTube friends and family. It is Erica with Erica Murphy Ministries and Blue Flame International Women's Ministry. I, uh, I've got something I want to share with you guys. Um, I shared it a few weeks ago uh, when we went to Elkton, Kentucky, uh, in one of the places that I was speaking at. And uh, I want to release it to you all today. It was a dream that I had a few weeks ago. And I just, I want to speak over you. I want to encourage you. God wants to encourage you today. And uh, it's a quick word. It's a quick dream. And I know this is a word for a lot of people. Um, I know that it was a word for me. Listen, most of the things, 99.9% .9 of the words that I speak out are the things that God speaks to me, shows me. Uh, whatever it may be, visions, dreams, or comes to me and talks, 99.9% .9 of the time, it is for me. You know, I'm preaching to myself when I preach Preach most of these places. I am preaching to myself. Uh, you know, we all struggle. Uh, you know, it is through the grace of God, His love, His kindness, His compassion that gets us through. You know, I am nothing without Him. I am nothing. I can do nothing aside from Jesus nothing and I just want to encourage you guys today and I want to speak this over you so this dream was two weeks ago it was a quick dream I was in like a it looked like a gym area uh, there were tables set up kind of like a gym set up to be a um, like a theater but there were people sitting around eating and this girl was there and she was speaking and she was saying we've got to save the children we've got to do this and that and you know she was speaking good things but i knew in my spirit that the girl that was speaking was barren i knew that she didn't even have children of her own and here she was speaking for the cause and you know god spoke to me when I when I woke up from that dream and and how many of us have been there have we been barren you know not just physically from children but from hope how many have lost hope how many have lost encouragement but we're standing there we're preaching we're even speaking it doesn't matter where you're at you can preach you can preach in Walmart or at your work how many times are we speaking over people speaking life when we feel like there's not life Ooh, glory to God that there's not life in us how many of us have felt barren and we feel like we are barren you know we see other families and, and people in other relationships or other ministries and it seems like they're thriving or in financial you know they're in great financial status and, and we're like how God you know but yet we go on and yet we press on we carry that cross you know but there's going to be times and you know even Jesus had to have somebody help him carry the cross there's times when we need help and we need encouragement and I want to encourage you today that your barrenness I want to speak over you today that your barrenness is over it is over um God has been speaking to me a lot about being fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful. So I'm saying it to you today. Your barrenness is over. Be fruitful and multiply. You know, when when uh, Joshua and him crossed over to the promised land, it was, they were no longer in the barrenness. They were in a fruitful place. Hallelujah. And, you know, when you can get in you all this fruit all this all the blessing and all the promises of God you know you can readily give it out and it can multiply 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 to other people and that's what we're supposed to do you know when God gives us something we're supposed to give it out freely and let it multiply on to other people hallelujah praise God and you know what is what is your barrenness you know Joshua and them they were promised the promised land. It was to go over and go over the River Jordan. And during that time at the River Jordan in the Bible, it says that it was a time of flooding, you know, when there was a lot of rain and a lot of things happening. And, and I, they had to stand for three days. How many times has God promised you and you've been in a barren state and you've stared and you've looked at the River Jordan, at your River Jordan, whether it be, um, you know, you not having a, a, a marriage, God's promised you a, a kingdom partner, or God's promised you a certain ministry or health, or, you know, your children to be saved, or, um, you know, finances, whatever He's promised you, and you stand in there, and you're like, oh my goodness, and you, you're standing there, you stand there for three days, but He eventually got over it. You know, He eventually put His feet down, and He walked 
through it. Hallelujah. And you know, there are many times that we're waiting on God, but God is waiting on us, right? You know, when he got the, uh, the people and his Israelites out of Egypt, um, you know, when he delivered them, it said they walked out. You know, we have to do that. We have to start walking and meet him there you know when he gives us these promises you know we we can't just sit and just wait we have to keep going and have to keep walking out and uh you know spiritual multiplication it, it you know when god talks about being fruitful and multiply you know that is also spiritual spiritual multiplication for the kingdom you know the kingdom of god multiplying his kingdom you know, um, and you know, there's many times that you, you can't, you know, this is hard to say, but it's true. You know, I have learned that you can't hardly get people out of a maze unless you've been through that maze, unless you've been there, uh, you know, unless you've been in these places. And it, it's a hard thing sometimes. Uh, I know I've been there. Uh, it's hard when when people you know you feel like people you know are getting blessed with the blessings or you know getting life and fruitfulness and and, and you feel and your womb is empty uh, but god wants to encourage you today and i want to encourage you through the spirit of the lord that your barrenness is over my friend be fruitful and multiply i thank you all that have sowed into the ministry um, like I, I said in my other video, we do not charge a fee for going to the different places and speaking who host us. Um, you know, if, if they want to uh, sow into us or give a donation, you know, we, we accept that and we're thankful for that. And those that have sowed, thank you. We pray over every seed that is sowed a hundredfold. I speak a hundredfold over everyone. And, and those that can, I speak blessing on you. And understand don't so I mean I mean we give out to other ministries too but don't so you know into to people unless God tells you to you know to do that and uh, that's when the multiplication the spiritual multiplication does come and uh, you know it's up to you it's up to God I love you guys be blessed and I, I, pl I pray that this encouraged somebody and we will talk soon